Remember this guy, the silicate tetrahedron? Oh, sure, he looks innocent. But remember, I warned you that this was the face of doom. And now I'm going to explain why that's true. Because remember we were talking about silicate minerals. We said that all silicate minerals have silicon and oxygen, and they are forming these silicate tetrahedrons. And the silicate tetrahedrons stick together and form various structures. Remember, that's why mica is really fun, because you can pull it apart. Well, if lava or magma has too many of these little guys, it gets too sticky. And you're like, well, what do I care if lava is sticky or not, right? I stay away from lava. Well, remember that magma forms underground, and if it breaks through the surface, like if it breaks through a fissure in the ground and makes a basaltic flow, or if it comes out of a volcano, then it ends up on the surface. But what about if it tries to make it to the surface and can't because it's not sticky enough that it's stuck underground and hardens there. And it's not fluid enough that it easily just comes out of the ground. But it tries to get up that narrow pipe in the volcano, and it gets stuck. Now, the rest of the Earth doesn't say, oh, I see you're having a bad day. I'm not going to put any more pressure on you. No, 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 no. The pressure will still build up underneath that stuck magma. And the pressure will build and build and build until it blows its top. And that's what happened with Mount St. Helens. Mount St. Helens, the magma or lava making its way to the surface, was fluid enough to get up into the volcano, but sticky enough to get stuck. And Mount St. Helens didn't erupt out of the top. It blew out one side, one face of the volcano. And they knew that was going to happen because a tremendous bulge started forming. And geologists looked at that and said, that's not quite right. And that thing's going to blow. And they were actually able to get almost everyone safely out of the area before Mount St. Helens erupted. Because they could tell there were swarms of earthquakes. They could tell that there were changes in the shape of the mountain, as I said. They didn't know exactly when, but they knew that it was going to be relatively soon. And so fortunately, there were very few deaths. There were some geologists, unfortunately, who died. And there was at least one stubborn old man who refused to evacuate. You can guess what happened to him.